we introduce depth oracle neural radiance fields, in short, DUNERF. DUNERF is a compact neural representation that is able to generate novel views in real time on a single GPU. DUNERF consists of a five stage pipeline. First, rays are unified so that identical rays in a given view cell map to the same origin. We consider space non linearly to handle scenes of arbitrary scale and further use an oracle network that estimates ideal sample locations based on discretized depth. We generate samples based on the oracle's prediction, warp them towards the view cell, and perform ray marching with a second shading network that needs as few as two samples to achieve quality identical to previous work. In the following sequences, we show videos of DUNERF compared to the baselines of NERF local light field fusion, and NEX. On average, DUNERF achieves quality equal or better compared to NERF with as few as 4 samples per pixel. Compared to NERF, NEX and local light field fusion, DUNERF is able to handle large-scale scenes, such as forest, much better due to only requiring samples where they contribute the most. Local light field fusion tends to be unstable during motion, leading to distortions and missing image regions, even when considering a cropped field of view. NEX suffers from image-based artifacts due to suboptimal placement of the image planes, leading to blurring or ghosting artifacts if the view differs too much from the reference view. Furthermore, DUNERF's local sampling scheme can also handle fine geometric detail, such as in the classroom scene, where it outperforms NERF at 8 samples per pixel. A limitation of DUNERF when trained only on reference depth maps is that effects such as full reflections or transparent surfaces are difficult to represent when only surface depth is considered, such as on the mirror on the left in Barbershop. To demonstrate a proof of concept DUNERF that also works without available reference depth, we train our depth oracles using depth maps extracted from a dense nerve. Looking at the oracle output in the pavilion scene, the oracle trained on reference depth tends to be slightly more consistent and accurate. However, extracted nerve depth maps also provide a benefit. Refractions and reflections can now be represented more accurately, as the oracle learns to place samples not just at the surface depth. Looking at both the glass window and the transparent water surface, we can see that the DUNERF that is trained without reference depth even performs slightly better for those surfaces. Similarly, for the mirror in Barbershop, the oracle learns to place samples in a virtual room behind the surface and can therefore represent the fully reflective properties of the mirror at a much lower sample count. When comparing the full DUNERF that was trained without reference depth supervision, we can see that at a slight loss in quality, the mirror in Barbershop and the water and glass surfaces in Pavilion can be represented with much lower sample counts. We present results gathered from an extensive ablation study to validate the individual parts of DUNERF. Predicting just a single real valued depth value without ray unification and placing four samples around that provides a blurry, poor result and doesn't represent the geometry very well. When predicting likelihoods along discrete ray segments, our classified depth oracle is able to much more accurately predict surfaces and ideal sample locations 
as small uncertainties are now not directly reflected in the sample placement. However, mispredictions at depth discontinuities still lead to ugly artifacts. Adding a spatial filter further helps, but still shows aliasing like artifacts at depth discontinuities. Finally, also adding a depth smoothing filter, the complete Dunerf pipeline manages to remedy most of the visible artifacts and showcases a significant improvement compared to directly predicting a real valued depth value. A single Dunerf is trained on a view cell, which is a bounding box with a primary orientation that captures all view rays originating within it. Multiple Dunerfs can be trained with overlapping view cells and the result can be cross-faded to enable arbitrary movement through complex scenes without major temporal artifacts. We additionally show a video capture of a Dunerf prototype implementation running in real time on a single consumer GPU based on CUDA and TensorRT. At a resolution of 800x800, 800 800, with 4 samples per ray, we achieve around 10 frames per second. At only 2 samples per ray, our prototype achieves around 20 frames per second. To conclude, Dunerf is the first fully neural representation capable of rendering in real time without requiring baking or caching. We are confident that such a local sampling strategy will be essential for real-time neural rendering going forward.